the other memory. The needle of my internal compass points east. But where does the thrill come from that grips me at the side of an acacia-lined street, a section of lowlands, a square shaped like a scarf bordered by single-story houses? Something calls to me here. No name captures the image. The image underlies the conscious experience. It comes from a store of memory I can neither control nor completely know. And it has power over me. Déjà vu, M says, aren't they the proof enough that we have already wandered several, even countless times over this earth? A fence twists in the snow, definitely a twisted fence, rural. Shadows, jackdaws, it's all there, and I fall into one of many pasts, a blue perfect, beyond the seven mountains and seven dwarves. Then herds of sheep, woolly on the grassy slope in the grass-covered steps on steep pastures, jaws chewing, and a sudden undulation when the herd begins to move, like a primal memory. These images from who knows where are joined by sounds and smells, pentatonic with piercing semitones, sung, pipe, the smell of smoke, of spices, of incense. Tea steams in the cups. The country in the other memory is a territory of tea.